Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Something that has never happened before is about to happen today on Saturday in FIFA 22. That is, two showdown cards are going to get upgraded and both are going to get a plus two. Because of the canceled fixture that was supposed to happen today, EA Sports have come out and announced that they are going to upgrade both Alvarez and Perisic with a plus two, and there's still time to do their SBC. I want to talk about that announcement that EA made and take a look at the brand new content that we had yesterday on Friday with the preseason rewards from week four and the Koulibaly, the Ketelera cards that were dropped and the mistake that EA made. Yes, EA still making mistakes in August. It's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is, and I think that mistake could impact our content today on Saturday. But if you're excited for these free showdown upgrades, if you will, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about that first because this tweet from just a couple hours ago is what we are mentioning right now. Since the Premier League announced the suspension of the fixtures this weekend, of course, including that Manchester United City versus Tottenham matchup, Alvarez and Perisic showdown, they have said, will both receive a plus two upgrade as a result. W. I mean, this is a tremendous W from EA Sports because, I mean, I, I was hoping that they would do this, but I wasn't honestly expecting it, uh, but they're just giving out the upgrades. That is great. They followed that up with a response tweet saying, no further upgrades will be given regardless of the result of the match when it is played, and they said the upgrades will be given shortly after when the game was scheduled to be played. So, of course, it was scheduled to be played today on Saturday. So, we should be seeing our 96 rated, or sorry, yeah, our 96 rated Alvarez and our 96 rated Perisic getting plus twos and going to 98. I quickly made this concept cards here, tweeted out when I saw the, the EA tweeted. Uh, and I mean, look at this Alvarez card. Like, that's crazy. Getting a plus two for each of these. This is probably like the only time it's ever going to happen, right? Because you know how showdowns work, right? Plus two if the team wins, plus one if they draw. So we've had both showdowns get upgraded before in a matchup, but they've only ever gotten plus ones. This is the only time ever, I believe, it's been a plus two to both cards. So if you have not done these SBCs yet, and you're like, man, this kind of tempts me now since they're both getting plus two upgrades. I have good news because they're still available in FIFA. If you're watching this video before 6 p.m. on Saturday, you can go into FIFA and get these SBCs done. I mean, GGC EA Sports, that's all you can say here. That was the right move, the right decision, 100% to give us kind of a little, I guess, endgame gift, if you will. Anything other than this outcome would have left people being very disappointed and very upset, of course, uh, with the showdowns and the, the game that people were excited about today that we don't get to see, of course, because of everything that has happened. We respect that decision, but... I, a lot of us as football fans would have loved to see this match, and it's a nice consolation to see the Perisic plus two and the Alvarez plus two in spite of that. So I, they did say in the tweet that the upgrade would happen shortly after the game was scheduled to be played. So that to me reads shortly after means that it hopefully will be today on Saturday. I'm talking like hopefully a couple hours after content because I believe the game was scheduled to be at um, like right around 6 p.m., 5.30 p.m. I believe is when the old the kickoff time was supposed to be for this game. So hopefully we see a 98 rated Alvarez and Perisic sometime tonight on FIFA. That would be fantastic if they don't. The only thing that I'll say is the other showdowns that we have had before that have had Saturday games, the upgrades did not take place until Monday because that's kind of when EA was getting back in the office, if you will. So hopefully it takes place a little bit faster than that. I mean, if you remember, the Ericsson upgrade happened super duper duper fast. But for these two cards here, hopefully they go to 98 status really, really quickly tonight on Saturday post game time kickoff when that game was supposed to be played. So that's the biggest W right now. And again, if you haven't done those SBCs, they are great value in my opinion. They're really cheap. They're easy to do with 85 times 10s. Go ahead and get them done. You might as well. They're both getting a plus two and they both look, they're going to look, look cracked after those upgrades. So that's the biggest thing for today on Saturday. Now let's look back yesterday a little bit at some of the preseason rewards because you know some of this was a kind of a letdown, but also there was some interesting happenings with EA's mistake releasing two player SBCs. I want to start with the objectives here really fast. We didn't get another 50k pack. Instead, if you remember the, the Kickstart 3 objective that we had last week, it was a bunch of nations, right? And they gave out 15 different gold rare players from five different nations, right? Three players per five different nations. And of course, there's five more nations this week, but you're only getting 
three rare gold players as the ultimate reward in FIFA 23, France, Brazil, and Spain. So instead of playing 15 games or scoring in 15 games to get 15 rare gold players, you're playing or scoring in 15 and then you only get nine players. But it's from arguably some of the biggest nations, especially France and Brazil. Now they've added Poland and Belgium in here. I do believe some Polish cards on the market went up yesterday and maybe some Belgium cards as well. Uh, again, you only have to have five of them so you can put in five Polish bronzes. If you're like me and don't have anybody but like Lewandowski, team of the season in your club, you can throw four other silver Polish cards in there. It's, you know, a lot of people, please play gold and gold in this because a lot of people are not and it's a pain, especially if you see a Polish or a Belgium team, gold and gold would be a huge help to get this objective done way faster uh, because again if you're playing in the kickstart game mode you're trying to get the fifa 23 objectives that's what you're going for right so i wish ea would have made that mode golden goal in the first place i was struggling with it on stream yesterday because a lot of people were not playing golden goal so i'm gonna wait until later on this week and hopefully some of the sweats are get it done and finish it off but uh just play golden gold in there it makes everybody's life so much easier but that was a little bit i guess if we set the bar pretty high in week two with a 50k pack, this was a little bit of a bummer, but it is nice. Three rare gold players from France or Brazil could end up paying out pretty nicely in a starter squad or, or with some fodder since there's a lot of potential there with high rated players from those nations. So it is what it is. We also had a De Catalera released yesterday, which again, it's like four weeks in a row now where we have an objective player that is not leaked ahead of time that they end up dropping. Pretty cool card here. They didn't give him five-star skills, which would have been cool, but he is club 90, really nice looking card and the AC Milan links. And one thing to watch out for today in objectives is a preseason cup because the friendly game mode, I do believe, is still there. Let me go and check just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure preseason cup still has, yeah, it still has seven days left on it. So I have not been playing preseason cup three, but since everything went from, you know, week three to week four, this is the last thing to go from week three to week four. I would expect to see a new preseason cup today, probably with the same rewards. So watch out for that. If you've been grinding that mode for some extra packs in FIFA 22, 10 golden goal games a day, it's not that bad if we're being completely honest. Now, let's talk about SBCs from yesterday because this is where it gets interesting. Now, for me on the PlayStation, I only see one SBC, and that is Kalidou Koulibaly. Great center back card. Absolutely cracked looking item. Medium high work rates. He got like a solid pace boost. His defense and his dribbling, or his defense and his defense didn't even need that much of a boost. He was already like maxed out on his team of the season card, but 85 agility. 86 balance, 99 reactions, 97 composure, great card, great SBC, and if you take a look at his price, it gets even better, only three squads to do him, like 150,000 coins, which again, at this stage of the game, you get done like that, with the 85 times 10, with a couple duplicate cards you have, it is super duper duper easy to do, and if you take a look at the thumbs up, thumbs down, very high thumbs up rate, and a very high completion percentage, 93% in the SBC section, uh, under this tab so very popular sbc you did have a good amount of premier league fodder going up yesterday take a look at like thomas Partey, right he was 2 2k all the way up to 3.7k so a lot of your prem fodder is up i do believe that at one point chelsea cards were all 10,000 coins yesterday uh like even silver and bronzes because inside of the koulibaly sbc there are there's a chelsea requirement for the 83 rated squad uh, so Chelsea cards were way, way, way up in price. So maybe check your club for some silver and bronzes there to see if they're still up. Um, but again, pretty high chemistry on these. That's the only bad part about it, but the ratings are pretty low. Uh, but still, really, really easy to do to get that Koulibaly in. Some people are saying, hey, I'm taking Kunde out of my squad to run Koulibaly and Varane together instead of maybe Kunde and Varane or Varane and Rudiger. Now they're subbing in Koulibaly. Great card. GG's EA Sports. Love the price. And again, you can tell that people are going out and doing this SBC. And, you know, I was looking at this SBC just a bit ago and thinking to myself, this is a really, really good tip to remember as we're heading into FIFA 23 market-wise. If you're still in that market mindset and thinking about things a little bit i mean premier league center back sbcs and premier league sbcs in general that have hype to them that are a a good price or b releasing as very meta cards that would replace players in people's teams they move the market every single time they're released this is example number one of a card that even moved up in september by the way we're talking the last two weeks of this game this card moved up twenty thousand coins yesterday he was 50k 55k before the content drop 
uh, right here you can see Cancelo, 55,000 coins. He is now almost 80K on the market after people did Koulibaly. They go out and they buy a left back card. They buy a card to link to him. This is the perfect card that they would go and get this card starts to rise. So maybe even some of your other, I think like Conte Shapeshifter card is up a little bit too. 1.4, 1.5 basically. Uh, he's basically 1.5 mil. I think that's up a little bit. Yeah, so maybe up like 70, 80K, nothing crazy there. But some of your Premier League links are up because of, again, a very popular and meta SBC. Even Team of the Year Jorginho, what about you? Okay, Team of the Year Jorginho was still at his uh, minimum price range. So that one didn't move up too much. I wonder if like Kyle Walker dropped at all, if people were replacing him with a cool Bali. Let's see. Oh yeah, 295K all the way down to 194. So that's the opposite side of the coin, right? You have a substitute good where somebody is, of course, being replaced. Kyle Walker replaced by cool Bali. Then you have, of course, the good that is seen as a, uh, I can't even think of the word right now, substitute goods and uh goods that you would use beside him so basically links to the player right that's that's the easy way to say it cancelo links to Koulibaly and he goes up somebody will name that in the comments i can't think of the proper term there but that's kind of what went on with the market yesterday uh again sh check your club for any bronze or silver chelsea players because those might be shooting up in price at the moment due to the hype of that chelsea sbc now here's where the mistake and here's where yesterday's content gets interesting and it kind of blends in with the conversation about today's content because yesterday we had a phantom sbc release and you may see this card on footbin if you're on playstation you're like going into your sbc section and you're like yo nate where is the alexis sanchez sbc you might not be able to find it but on xbox and pc it's a different story so yesterday i mean even First of all, this Koulibaly was released late, like 15 minutes late. So that was a bit of a mistake. Small one, we'll let it fly, right? Now, if you see right now on Footbin, you see this Alexis Sanchez card. This card was leaked by Foot Sheriff Friday morning as a SBC to come. I was like, okay, one of these will come on Friday, one will be on Saturday. But evidently, EA's had some issues because this Alexis Sanchez was dropped in the game on the xbox and the pc sbc markets or in the sbc tab but not on playstation it was an 85 and an 86 rated squad and it, people were able to do the sbc but they were not able to check the in-game stats of the card as and so you can see they're not loaded in on footbin because he's not been added as a card in the database uh on the game like if you search concepts he's not there so you can't search him up you can't see his stats you can't also get into a game. If you've done this and he's in your squad, it will not allow you to enter into a game. It'll kick you out. And I don't know if the SBC is still there. It shows on Footbin and it shows you the exact requirements that it does require 85 and 86 rated squad with a little bit of chemistry. Um, it's decently cheap. It's a cool looking card. The one thing I will say is he is not four star, three star. That is incorrect. That's his base uh, gold card. He is four star, three star. This card is five star skills, four star weak foot, I believe. So I don't know if he's actually out on the game uh, as it is right now, but of course, Foot Sheriff tweeted out EA mistakes and it makes sense, right? We've only been getting one of these player SBCs every single day. So this SBC was probably supposed to be released today on Saturday. That's what we'd be thinking. That's what we'd be expecting. But EA seemed to drop it early for some people and not even everybody. So that's part of what I would expect to, to be today's content on Saturday. Now also, it's kind of a weird Saturday in the fact that a lot of SBCs are expiring as well. If you think about it, the 85 times 10, I've only done it three times uh, since it's last refreshed, but today will be the last time you'll be able to do 10 85 times 10s before this and the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick expire on Sunday. So that's really interesting as well as to see what is going to be happening on Sunday as all this stuff expires and goes away at least these two sbcs that are really really big i think there's a couple other ones that are in here expiring as well just kind of keep that in mind the 82 plus player pick common triple gold upgrade i would imagine that these are going to come back the repeatable shapeshifter player pick you would think that it's maybe going to come back as well there's just so much in here that's going to expire on sunday i'm really really curious to see how this ends up happening and what what stays what goes we had the batch two preseason batch two player pick re-release yesterday as well Kind of an LSBC, but it is what it is. And the 87 plus player pick uh, expires as well. And that was released a couple days ago. 
And yeah, that one's still there and it's kind of being forgotten about. I feel like the main two SBCs right now are these two, 85 times 10, 95 plus shapeshifters and the year in review. I can't leave that one out. I've already completed it for the day, so it's not showing for me, but the year in review is expiring in six days. So we able to do one of those every single day to chase Kempembe, if you will, or any of those footies cards that you maybe had not completed yet. So that's kind of the big news of what's happening right now. Watch out for Alexis Sanchez today. Watch out for a brand new cup. Uh, I do think that we, we would get one more of those since the friendly is still going to be there in the game. And yeah, other than that, just enjoy trying to enjoy grinding these FIFA 23 rewards, getting those done. If you're still chasing after 99 Messi, Ronaldo, Marcelo, Ginola, any of those guys, enjoy maybe the last few 95 plus shapeshifter player picks. I would hope that they would re-release that SBC. I would hope, fingers crossed, but we'll just have to see as EA maybe are just starting to turn on that one track FIFA 23 mind here very, very soon. So that's gonna be the video for today. If you guys did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. Watch out very soon for some of FIFA 23 videos talking about preparation, how to get ready for it, and all of that good stuff as we get closer and closer to FIFA 23. Thanks again, guys, for watching. It's been Nathan for the count, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.